Hey guys, so today I want to speak about my speech impediment, right? I want to give you guys the backstory. The reason why I'm doing this is to try to motivate you guys in any situation that you're going through, right? I kind of wrote down, oh, I dropped that. I kind of wrote down some notes that I want to talk about. So um, I started stuttering since I was a kid, right? People think, oh, he probably had a rough growing up, this, this, that. And I'm like, no, that's not the story. That's what people think, but that's not the story. This is a happy story. This is my favorite story. This story molded me into who I am today. And if you know me personally, I love who I am. I feel like I'm awesome, all right? So let's start off with elementary school. Back in elementary school, my mother used to take me to school every day. And she would give me the same speech over and over again. Even if I was trying to sleep in the back, she'd be like, Junior, wake up. And I'll just be like, what do you want? And she'll say, Junior, I want you to be confident. I want you to speak and finish what you have to say. If there's people who don't want to hear what you have to say, you finish what you have to say, and you find people who do. And I want that message to go out to everybody. Do not waste your time on people who don't want to hear what you have to say. Find people who do want to hear what you have to say. And my favorite thing is to be confident. If you're not confident, life's going to be kind of tough. That's how I personally see it, right? So that's lesson number one. Be confident. And lesson number two is don't waste your time with people who don't want to hear what you have to say, right? Um, that was probably like the best advice my mother could give me, right? I took that and I ran with it because guess what? You could even talk to her. I got in trouble every school year for speaking too much. I would talk to the dude next to me like, yo, you saw WWE last night? Jeff Hardy jumped off the Jumbotron. Man, I could do that. And the teacher's trying to read something and say, excuse me, I'm speaking. And I'm like, excuse me, Jeff Hardy jumped off the Jumbotron. Did you jump off a Jumbotron? No. So I used to get in trouble a lot, right, for speaking. Um, elementary school wasn't really that hard. And, well, for my speech impediment, at least, like, Nobody cared. Nobody joked around with it. And we get into middle school. And here's where the whole bullying situation um, happened. But I don't like to call it bullying because bullying is when somebody verbally or physically tries to, you know, hurt you. And you just let it happen to you. That's not me. I decided at a young age, I was going to be different from the people who have speech impediments. Because I've met a couple of them, right? And those people are shy as hell. And they let themselves get bullied. That's not me. My parents taught me to stand up for myself. So when people would come at me, I'd be like, oh, you want to start? You want to come at me for my speech impediment? You want to say that I speak funny? Boy, I'm about to get you. And I would do what I have to do. If you know me personally, I'm the king of trash talk. Like, I don't know soccer, but you give me a month to practice straight. I'm going to talk my crap, and I'm going to say I could beat you. You could be playing soccer for years now. That's who I am. So when people would try to come at me, I would come right back. I stood up for myself. That's another lesson, all right? Stand up for yourself. Don't let nobody try to get you down. But something that like I really took note of and still remember to this day is when people are talking down on you this is another very important lesson when somebody's talking down on you there's something wrong with them they need some sort of attention some sort of validation to make themselves feel better that's why when i would go back at them i would kind of feel bad because i can see it most of the times you can see it there's something wrong with them so when people are talking down Feel bad for them. Yeah, stand up for yourself, but there's something wrong with them too, right? So never feel bad about yourself or take what they say too deep because they're going through their stuff too, right? So, but something that I did realize in middle school was I still had friends. I still had girls calling me cute and all this nonsense. So, oh, and... If the normal people were getting bullied, right? If the cool kid who just got pants is getting bullied, I'm normal. I'm just like everybody else. There's nothing wrong with me. We are all technically the same. Nobody's perfect, right? That's what I learned in middle school. 
And I hope these lessons really dig deep with you guys, right? So that was middle school. I stood up for myself. I still spoke a lot. I still got in trouble. And I realized I was normal. Then comes high school. High school was where I kind of made a mistake. I stood in my comfort zone because high school, they were pushing the whole public speaking thing, right? And that's when I would use my pass. And I'll be like, hey, I got a speech impediment. Can I just, you know, not do this? And they'll be like, you know what, kid? Good. You're fine. Um, just do your work. We'll give you the participation points. And I'm like, solid. Bet. And that was like my worst mistake because I didn't step out of my comfort zone. You guys need to all step out of your comfort zone. And it's like going to the gym, right? You're not going to do one curl and... One sit up, one crunch, one squat, and just become a model. You have to keep working at it. So back then, I'd do that one crunch, one curl, and all that. And I thought I was just gonna get good at it. And I stood in my little comfort zone, right? So, and when it came to high school, um, I still had a lot of friends. I was getting my girlfriends. This girl thought I was cute. That girl thought I was cute. And I realized nobody really cared about this. Like. I'm normal, right? And college comes along. And college really pulled, like, like forcefully pulled me out of my comfort zone. Because what happened was I was going to my classes trying to use that pass of, hey, I got a speech impediment. I don't really want to talk. My professor looked at me. My professor's S's, multiple S's, because, you know, we have a lot of them. And they said, we don't give a damn. We don't care. You have these three um, public speaking projects. You have to do them. If you don't, you get a zero. It's not my fault. And I was just like, oh, oh, my God. And that's when I had to start, like, getting out of my comfort zone and all this. And still, I realized I was making friends. This girl thought I was cute. That girl thought I was cute. And all this nonsense. And I'm just like, all right. Once again, I'm normal. There's nothing to worry about. And then I got into a business program. And when it came to that business program, that was like a very good program. And it made you network and all this and do mock interviews, mock debates, and all this crazy public speaking stuff. And then I met all these people. I spoke. Once again, nobody cared. And we got into our internships. And that's when like, I was kind of scared because that's when you're dealing with like, the big shots, the people who make a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. And my manager told me what I've been thinking is nobody cares. Get the work done, right? Because he said it. At the end of the day, everybody's going through some shit that we don't even know, right? They're going through way worse, right? There's somebody who probably has like a couple months left and they're still here going at it, getting the work done. Nobody cares. Get your work done. That's another message that I want to convey to you guys. We're all going through our own stuff, right? And somebody rang the doorbell. I'm not going to get that. Um, we're all going through our own stuff. Keep going. Because we're all going through our own crap. But we still working. We still getting stuff done. So keep it going, right? That's what I went through at BMCC, right? And here at Baruch. The same thing. Nobody cares. Just work hard. Keep moving. That's like my story because that's what, well, one, I had to learn what I had to go through. And this is a happy story. This is a motivational story because when people say, oh, I'm kind of scared to public speak, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, you're scared? You don't have a speech impediment. What are you talking about? That's like my go-to joke. Like, I'm just like, yo, you're scared? The kid with the speech impediment is down to go first and speak? No, 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 Like, this has changed me. This has motiv molded me into who I am today. And I hope what I said today can motivate you guys as well to keep pushing, to keep moving, to be more confident. Confidence is key to be happy and to realize nobody cares what you're going through. Yes, I'm saying that kind of in a harsh way, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Keep going. And technically, we're all normal. So please, guys, be happy, be confident, keep pushing. This was my story. I hope 
to motivate you guys. I hope you could find somebody who needs to watch this and you could put them on. Comment down below what lessons have you learned throughout your years of going to school or going through this. Comment that down below. Comment whatever you want. Hope you guys are happy. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep working. Keep pushing. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in.